These are dark times. Our world has faced no greater threat than it does today. There have been disappearances, murders, but I say this, your ministry remains strong. We will keep the people safe. I believe you know our guest, Miss Charity Burbage, lover of muggles and all their ways. <laughs> Enough, Nagini. What news? The Order has learned that we have infiltrated the Ministry. They are moving him tonight. There have been too many mistakes where Harry Potter is concerned. Tonight, I will kill Harry Potter in person. Everybody ready? Once we get to the burrow, you'll be safe. And if anyone attacks us on the way, and it's all disguised as you, Death Eaters will never know who the real one is. Hold tight, Harry! Where's Hagrid? What about Voldemort? It's all right, Harry. Hagrid's fine. And the Order's put protective charms on the burrow. We're safe. For now. God, I shouldn't be here. I'm putting everyone in danger. Careful! You can't rush after what you've been through. Besides, we can't go anywhere till after the wedding. What wedding? Bill and Fleur. We would have told you, but you've been sort of unconscious. You'd better get ready, mate. You can't expect him to go to the wedding like this. Just take your time, Harry. Make sure you're all right. Ron's right. If I can't go to a wedding, how am I supposed to find the other Horcruxes? Dumbledore's gone. We have to finish what he started. We have to destroy Voldemort. I've been wondering. Voldemort, you know who, hid his soul in Horcruxes, right? And two have been destroyed, right? Do you think he knows that part of him is dead? I don't care. Let's just find the other four and destroy what remains. Can we talk about this later, please? We shouldn't spoil Bill and Fleur's big day. Hello. Hello, nice to see you. Blimey! Seems Looney runs in the jeans. Who is that? Luna's father, Xenophilius. We should say hello. He supported Harry all through the summer when the Prophet's been ignoring the truth. Besides, it might be the last chance we get to speak to Luna. It's strange, thinking everyone will be back at Hogwarts without us. Oh, what a wonderful tent! I can't... I hope this cake...
Hello, Mr. Lovegood. Ah, I trust you know, Mr. Potter, that we at the Quibbler fully supported Dumbledore during his lifetime, and in his death, support you just as fully. Uh, thanks. Is Luna with you? She lingered in that charming little garden. Such a glorious infestation of gnomes. Or, to give them their correct name, the Gernumbly Gardensi. You might want to congratulate Mr. Weasley on them. He was looking for you just now. Thanks. Yeah, I will. Mr. Weasley, did you want to speak to us? Ah, yes. Yes, I did. You see, it turns out that Dumbledore left you things in his will. Huh. All of us? Yes. To you, Ron, he left his Deluminator. To Hermione, his copy of the Tales of Beedle the Bard. And to you, Harry, he left the snitch you caught in your first Quidditch match. He also left you the sword of Godric Gryffindor. But the Ministry is insisting the sword wasn't Dumbledore's to give away. Not that it matters, because no one can find the sword anyway. Did he say what these were for? I'm afraid he didn't. Now, why don't you pop those up to your rooms and come down to the party? We have a wedding to celebrate, don't we? My mum used to read me the tales of Beedle the Bard. How are children's stories supposed to help us find the Horcruxes? Dunno. Maybe Dumbledore just wanted to cheer us up. Do you think all these things are a clue? Are there supposed to be fireworks before the wedding? The Ministry has sworn! The Minister of Magic is dead! <sighs> they are coming! Harry, we need to leave! Where are we? We're in London. Shaftesbury Avenue. We need to change. Here, I packed some things in case of emergency. You reckon any of the people here could be Death Eaters? How would the Death Eaters know we were here? They've known where we were every other time. The Mumble News is full of natural disasters. We know what that really means, though. Death Eaters. I brought your visibility cloak, Harry. I thought it would be useful. Hmm. So, where do we go from here? The Leaky Cauldron? Too dangerous. If Voldemort's taken over the Ministry, None of the old places are safe. Let's sit over there. We can work out what to do next. <clears throat> what do you think, Harry? Harry? Place. Didn't expect to come here again. You think it's safe? Wait! No! <laughs> what was that? It must be one of the jinxes the Order used to protect the house. I didn't think Death Eaters could get into Grimmauld Place. No, but then they weren't supposed to know we were moving Harry either. R-A-B. R-A-B. Those were the initials in the fake Horcrux. The one I found with Dumbledore. Regulus Arcturus Black. Sirius' brother? He must have taken the real Horcrux. Piece of Voldemort's soul. But how do we find it? Creature. Creature. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't trust that house elf as far as I could throw Hagrid. Creature used to live in the kitchen downstairs. I bet he's still there. Creature. Regulus owned a locket, didn't he? Where is it? Creature doesn't know. But did you see it? 
Creature does not talk to mudbloods. Creature does not betray his master, Regulus Black. I'm your master now, Creature. What did Regulus tell you to do with the locket? Destroy it. It was his last order to Creature, but no matter how Creature tried, he could not. Creature betrayed his master. Creature could not destroy the locket. Oh, what happened to it? What happened? It's no use, Harry. He's used to being shouted at. You'll have to think of something else. Here, creature. I... I want you to have this. We want to finish what Master Regular started. We want to destroy the real locket. Mandagus, Mandagus Fletcher. He took the locket. Creature, I want you to find him. Please, find Mundungus. Get off me! Hello, Harry Potter! Get these ourselves off me! You took a locket from here. Where is it? Why? Is it valuable? You've still got it? No. He's worried he should have got more money for it. This ministry egg made me sell it. Practically stole it, she did. Umbridge, I think her name was. Umbridge? Yeah. And now I'll told you what you want. You can leave me out of this. Umbridge is bigger than ministry again. Hardly leaves the place. Then we'll have to find a way in. That locket is the only Horcrux we know about. We have to get it. The entrance to the Ministry is disguised as public toilets. It's through there on the main road. But there's bound to be a guard and we can't apparate in. But we can't just walk in. They'd recognize us. The Horcrux is in there. We have to find a way in. Well, then we'll have to find a way to disguise ourselves. Flush ourselves in. Apparently so. That's bloody disgusting. Just pull the chain. So it better be a magical chain. <laughs> Fancy being spotted by this lot. There's a lot more security here the last time we came. Just remember we belong here. Don't look nervous. We shouldn't hang about, mate. We should hide. Or do you want me to report you too? Of course he doesn't. We'll both come. Sorry, mate. We'll find you when we can. You find Umbridge. She's on level one.
what she said. Get moving. investigate whether he too is a muggle-born imposter, working at the heart of the Ministry and helping other muggle-borns infiltrate his department. Still, at least he works at the Ministry. Hardly a job for pure wizarding blood. You are muggle-born. Admit it, Mrs. Catamo. You stole Open. We'll have to get back to the flu network in the atrium. It's the only way out of the ministry. Seal the exits! No! going to Grimmauld Place. We were, but a death to grab from. I had to change where we were going, but I did it so fast. I must have made a mistake. Now Ron's hurt. All right. Lie still. I need to apply some dittany. It'll hurt less if you stop moving. It'll hurt less if you stop poking me. How do we know they won't find us here? Voldemort. No, don't say it. I've heard someone in the Ministry. They've made you know whose name Taboo. If you say his name, they can find you. Which way? I can't see that must be how they found us at the cafe. Hermione, be quiet. I can hear someone. We're going to walk into snatches if we keep going like this. That sounds like Ding Thomas. Gryffindor's sword. 
It's goblin made. So? So, nothing damages it. It only takes in that which makes it stronger. Harry, you destroyed one Horcrux, right? Tom Riddle's diary. With the basilisk fang? When you stabbed the basilisk, the sword took in some of its venom. So, the sword? The sword can destroy Horcruxes? Brilliant. But unless I've got it wrong, Gryffindor's sword is a fake. It's just like the Horcruxes. No one knows where the real sword is. Did you think we'd be finding a Horcrux every other day? You're supposed to be the one with the plan. You said we should do what Dumbledore wanted. Only Dumbledore didn't tell you anything, did he? Take off the locket, please, Ron. You wouldn't be talking like this if you hadn't been wearing it. Yeah, I would. And so would you if you were honest. Go home, then. If you're so unhappy, go home to Mummy. Just leave the Horcrux. Ron! Stop! You staying? Or coming? Ron! No! Please! Well, we'd... We better find somewhere to camp. We've got nowhere else to go, and maybe... Maybe Ron will come back. I've been thinking. Godric Gryffindor's sword. Maybe Dumbledore hid it in Godric's hollow. I mean, it's a place we'd think of, and somewhere Dumbledore knew well. But it's a place you know who would think of, too. It would be dangerous. Godric's hollow. Birthplace of Godric Gryffindor. Obvious, isn't it? Where else would Dumbledore hide Godric's sword? Dumbledore and Bethilda Bagshot lived here too. And my parents. Harry, don't you think there's a chance Voldemort's keeping a watch on your parents' grave? We should have used Polyjuice Potion. The last enemy that shall be destroyed... It is death. Look at this. I'm sure I've seen this symbol before. Xenophilius Lovegood was wearing it at the wedding. Someone's watching us. By the gate. We should follow her. Somehow, I know we should follow her. I don't think this is a good idea. Bethilda, aren't you? Harry. Hermione, it's Bethilda Bagshot. She knew Dumbledore. She might have the sword. There's something strange about her. She wants me to go upstairs. Harry! It, it's all right. Just, just stay here. I'm Harry. Harry Potter? Something for me. Did, 
Dumbledore leaves him. Coming. Voldemort's coming. <laughs> Harry. Harry, can you hear me? We got away. Yes. You shouldn't have gone to Godric's Hollow. I wanted to go too. I really thought Dumbledore might have left the sword there. But he didn't. You were right. You know who knew I'd go there. He killed Bathilda, put that snake there in her place, and left her in Godric's Hollow to wait for us. Harry, no! Uh, I'm sure you ought to rest. You think he's resting? You know who's already ahead of us on every step. Ron's gone. We've got no leads, which means we have to catch up. I know, I know, but... Harry, I've read the book Dumbledore left me a hundred times. I've looked everywhere I can think of. I know there must be a clue, somewhere, but... I'll look again. You make sure we're safe here. I'll... I'll look again. Hermione! <laughs> Hermione! We should move on. I think as long as we don't go anywhere that can be associated with you, we should be safe. What about Ron? If he was coming back, he'd be back by now. We need to move on. Forest of Dean. I came here once with my mum and dad. Years ago. Why don't you set up camp? I'll check the forest. <sighs> the Sword of Gryffindor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
at all. Why didn't you take this off? Yeah. The job I followed your Patronus. Why did you dive in there, your mental case? The sword of Gryffindor. The Patronus wasn't mine. Whoever left it must have wanted us to have the sword. They want us to destroy the locket. Do it. What? It has to be you, Ron. I know it. As soon as it opens, use the sword. Destroy it. On three. One, two, three. I'm sorry I left. You sort of made up for it tonight. Getting the sword, finishing off the Horcrux. And just think of it. Only three more to go. Uh, after you left, Hermione cried. Mm. Let's go to the camp. She wants to see you. A giant snake in Godric's hollow. Hey, Hermione, oh. stop! We've destroyed the Horcrux. This stag doe thing led us to the Sword of Gryffindor. Harry almost drowned getting it. Ron saved my life. And we used the sword to destroy the Horcrux. And I suppose you think that's enough to make up for just disappearing on us? <sighs> We've destroyed one Horcrux. But there are still three more out there. Well... I have found something. Look at this. That symbol keeps cropping up. Here, in the Tales of Beedle the Bard, in the graveyard in Gotrick's Hollow. And at the wedding. Xenophilius Lovegood was wearing it. You think Xenophilius knows what it means? The Lovegoods live over there. It's not too far. Do you reckon Xenophilius can tell us anything useful? I mean, he's a bit... barking mad. I hope he can tell us something. Apart from the symbol, we haven't any other leads. But I'm sure Dumbledore was trying to tell us something. Otherwise, why would he have left me the book? Excuse me, Mr. Lovegood? What? Who are you? What do you want? I'm Harry Potter. We met at the wedding. Of course. Of course. Come inside. Is Luna at home? Luna? Oh, she'll be along. Mr. Lovegood, I want to ask you about the symbol you're wearing. This? It's the sign of the Deathly Hallows. You have heard the tale of the three brothers. Mm -hmm. It's in the tales of Beedle the Bard. The book Dumbledore left me. Well, if I remember correctly, there were once three brothers who death granted wishes. oldest brother asked for the most powerful wand in existence. The second, for the power to recall someone from death. The third, for the power to disappear. So, death gave the first brother a wand made from Elden. The second, a magical stone. And the third, a cloak of invisibility. The first brother took his wand and killed a wizard he had been quarrelling with. 
Elated, the brother bragged of his wand and his invincibility. But that night, a wizard killed the brother while he slept and took the wand. So, death claimed the first brother. The second brother took his stone home, and was delighted that the girl he had hoped to marry before her untimely death appeared to him. She no longer belonged in the mortal world. Driven mad by seeing her again, the second brother killed himself to join her in death. And so, death claimed the second brother. As for the third brother, death searched for him, but could never find him. Only when he got old did the younger brother take off the cloak of invisibility and greet death. The Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, the Cloak of Invisibility. Together they make the Deathly Hallows. Together they make one Master of Death. We saw that mark on a grave in Godric's Hollow. The grave of Ignatius Peveril. Of course. Ignatius and his brothers are thought to be the three brothers, the owners of the Hallows. Thank you, Mr. Lovegood. That's what we needed to know. You aren't going. You can't go. They were angry about what I've been writing, you see. So they took my Luna. <gasps> Who took Luna? It's you he really wants. It's the only way I'd see her again. I have to get her back from Voldemort. No! There's a boot! They'll know we're here! There are people outside. It's trapped. And for nothing. It's rubbish, isn't it? There's no such thing as Deathly Hallows. But it makes sense. The Hallows are what Voldemort is searching for. The final thing he wants before he takes power. Get down! <laughs> We've got to get out of here! Hermione, we have to leave. It's moving. It's the Snatchers. They're inside. <laughs> Hermione! Ron! Harry! Take my hand! <laughs> what happened? That decoration. I knew I'd seen it before. It was in a rumpet horn, Class B tradable material. They're very unstable. So is Xenophilius. Is there no one we can trust? You can't blame him. They took Luna, but at least now we know what you know who is after. He wants the Deathly Hallows. We can't stay here. They'll be after us. Hello, beautiful. There's more of them. We can't keep running. Now we have them. They recognize us. I'm mining. You know who they are? They on the list. The names they gave us aren't here. Ugly this one, isn't he? He fallen in the nettles. What you doing out here? How come you're lying about who you are? Hmm. Change of plan, boys. We're not taking them to the ministry. <laughs> what did you put on me? The stinging jinx. It was the only way I could think of disguising you. Quiet, beautiful. I want to see what you know who makes of you. Come on! Get in there! Ah! No! 
Let her go! Hermione! Hermione! Harry, we have to do something. We can't just leave Hermione alone with them. Bellatrix is up there. Hi, Harry. Luna? Are you all right? What? Y yes, th this is just a stinging jinx. Hermione disguised me. Uh, Harry, we have to get her out of here. Bellatrix finds out who we are. We've got to help Hermione. I know. But they've taken our wands. What are we supposed to do? Dobby can help. Dobby? What are you doing here? Dobby has come to rescue Harry Potter, of course. Do you mean to say you can operate in and out of here? And take us with you? Of course, I'm an elf. Get the others to safety, then get us out of here. Of course. That's a mighty. No. No. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dobby. Stupid boy! Ah! <laughs> 
Dobby, no! It's okay. Here, just hold on, Dobby. I'll fix you. Hermione, your bag. You must have something. Essence of Dipney, something. Hermione, help me. Such a beautiful night. To be with friends. Dobby is happy to be with his friend, Harry Potter. 